cut it high, folks. It's T-Biz here, and yes, we're going to do a Hot Wheels uh, video pickup and review because I haven't picked up any Hot Wheels in a long time. Uh, Hot Wheels community is a lot like a lot of other communities, like uh, Transformers, Marvel <coughs> Legends, and um, and uh, what else? Um, just like a lot of wacky cult-like communities, there, there, there's a lot of them out there. And um, yeah, as far as collecting goes, but um, and comic books. But I, I really, I, I, I just tread lightly over some of these and just, just dabble and dip my my toy collecting toesies in there every once in a while and grab stuff. But I've been off the Hot Wheels wagon for a while, or on it, or off it, wherever I've been. It's uh, just because a lot of it, there's been a lot of reissues of cars and repaints and stuff like that that I've just been like, oh, I've got like three, four different versions of this car. Why do I need another? It's like you know, I just kind of got sick of that. But it's the 50th anniversary right now, so there's some interesting new cars out, and I always like picking up my quote unquote T Biz cars, as my friends like to call it in Collector's Dungeon. Um, and then I also like to pick up just the Beast cars and just off wall stuff, you know, oddball stuff or off the wall stuff. And yeah, and since they don't do Race World stuff anymore, it kind of bums me out. I wish they'd bring the Race World stuff back because it's a fun video game. And they're just, those are some of my favorite cars, which are pretty much what you would call a T Biz car. But, anyways, and I also got this car I've never seen before. It's, uh, or these, this type of car. It's an Edge Glow Cruiser color changing lights and you can try it and it's just awesome but before we get to that we're going to check out the cars that i have picked up this is a really cool one because i know my buddy overlord his dad picked this up originally and he actually uh, custom painted the burger on it and it's a fast foodie which is a pretty neat car i like this one a lot it's um it's got a burger and fries on it and you could i could pretend it's a veggie burger since i haven't been eating meat for quite some time and it's got a salt shaker little thing in the back or I guess I could, no, you know what that is? That's sodas. That's uh, two sodas. Like when you go get your your uh, pop beverage at the soda. I mean, pop beverage at the, whatchamacallit, uh, the fast food place. Because, you know, it's got the three little bubbles for like Dr. Pepper diet or Coke or other or whatever, you know. So that's pretty cool. And uh, here's, uh, if we can focus in on this because it's a small little Tampa decal. Got cheeseburgers, hamburgers, french fries. And man, I cannot, that's... See if I can just focus in on that a little bit more. Right there. Three three fifty? Three something something ninety five? What four fifty? Ah, uh, that's expensive. I guess they charge a little extra for cheese and whatnot, but yeah. Cool stuff. So this is a definitely a car you want to get if you like a uh, goofy oddball stuff. And so and another one right here is uh another fast foodie. It's uh quick bite. Actually, this wasn't the fast footy. This was the, yeah, Buns of Steel. Duh, my bad, Buns of Steel. So, yeah, that was Buns of Steel. And this is the fast footy. I like this one. This is the Asada uh, Sushi or whatever. And burritos. So, that's pretty cool. It's like a mix of, uh, it's like an Asian Tex-Mex or Mexican uh, fusion, which is cool. And you got the little cartoon character person with the sombrero then you got like some sushi and like a burrito wrap or whatever and a little jalapeno and you got your little character in a hot wheels car and then the hot wheels car is like a blinking or blushing or whatever so that's pretty cute and pretty cool pretty goofy and once again you've got a menu right there so you got a sushi burrito 550 sushi tacos 350 that sounds pretty good and um nachos 750 or 150 i can't tell and sashimi for a dollar fifty. Anyways, cool car. I like it. It's cute. It's cool. And you got like uh, somebody cooking in the back. Some kind of weird. Looks like an imperial guard or something or whatever. But yeah, cooking in the back. And then yeah, it's a uh, it's cool, cool little food truck, which are popular here and popular all over big cities. Food trucks, not just Austin, Texas. And here's another cool one. It's a twenty four hours. Like hours. This is hours. But uh, yeah, it's a basically a formula car with glow-in-the-dark wheels and stuff. A little bit of translucent pieces over the engine and stuff. But yeah, pretty cool. I like this car. I like it a lot. But this one, yeah, 24 hours. Anyhow, we're moving along before we get to the finale. And this one is the Cyber Speeder. I like this one. This is what you would call a typical T-Biz car. Because it's got, I like the cool Tron Tempo decal thing right there. It's pretty neat looking. 
It's a little bit of translucent, a little purpley. Got that royal purple, or a, a, a metallic purple. And glow-in-the-dark wheels, so you can't beat it. Just a fierce-looking car. And probably, I don't know if this is good for the track. Does it say it's good for the track? No, it's just a special feature. But does a special feature just mean that, that it glows, or does it come apart, or what? I wonder. It might. It might. Who knows? I don't want to open it up, so somebody else will have to figure it out, or we'll have to go watch another video to see if you can find somebody to pop that thing open to see what it does, what the special feature is. And I'm not sure. So I have to ask uh, maybe Papa Overlord if he knows. And this one's pretty cool. This is uh, Piranha Terror. I like this one a lot. I thought this was pretty worthy. And I've been really holding off on picking up cars. But I always like some of the Street Beasts. I don't have a lot of them lately. But I, have, I think I have some old ones. But yeah, I couldn't pass this one up. I thought they were pretty cool. And these are all 50th anniversary. And uh, yeah, all number two. But good stuff. But last but not least, this is probably my favorite car that I picked up. I just picked it up on a whim. I had to check it out. And this is the Nerve Hammer. I believe I have. And I had to cut this open so you can. Because it's got these little handles that you can pull. And it has the car attached to it. And you just turn the handles and then you can take it loose or whatever. And then I guess you can pop it back in there and display it if you want like that. Anyhow, yeah, Edge Glow Cruisers. And I really I only found one of these at Walmart. And I'd like to find more of them. You got Fast Fish. Got Nerve Hammer, Time Tracker, and Quick and Sick. These are all like re like bigger, like almost four inch remakes of uh, some of the standard wacky Hot Wheels cars or track cars and stuff. And you got lights and SF or sound effects. And yeah, they're cool. So let's uh, check this guy out because he's awesome. I love this. Love this thing. Uh oh. You get two sounds with that right there. And it lights up. And it changes colors. From like a purple to a blue. And then revs up. Ah, oh, I love it. All the lights are cool. Sick. It's got rubber wheels too. And you can uh, open it up and change out the batteries and stuff and whatnot. But yeah, real rubber wheels and cool spoiler. And this is my favorite one, the sound effect in the middle of the Hot Wheels logo. Woo! Oh, that is rocking. That that is some that is some heavy metal rocking guitar sounding right there. It's like Look out! Dun, 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 dun. Yeah! That's awesome. Ah, I could just play with this thing all day. This is just too cool. Woo! Anyhow, that's a look at the Edge Glow Cruisers. Who is this again? This is the Nerf Hammer. And my latest pickups from the 50th anniversary wave of Hot Wheels and whatnot. And yeah. Ugh. It's awesome. Once again, thanks for watching, y'all. And yeah, go get you some Hot Wheels because they're always pretty cheap and they're not always too expensive. And sometimes, I don't know, they're pretty fun. Anyhow, thanks for watching, y'all. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention, it's got cool back metal on this car, too. Anyhow, yeah, more reviews and definitely goofy videos and stupidity definitely always on the way. Thanks, y'all. Have a good one. Peace.